Oh my god. Legendary loot! Together now and loot! Oh wow, going for Twig. Sure would be a shame if the game ended before they got a chance to use that, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's my goal. End the game before that sucker pops. Hey buddy, watch this. We'll do some kind of hyper aggro weapony Diablo-y thing with this hero power, and then we'll try to unlock Soulstone Trap for our next run. Uh, I think, despite these being weapons, I think we can actually do better. I think I'll just take Fire Stomp because it deals damage and has a little bit of survivability. But uh, I want I want to do weapon synergy stuff and and actual weapons as well. Uh, an upgrade seems cool. Honestly, spiked wheel seems pretty cool because this is a, a, a hero power that gives me armor very reliably in the mid game. Like this may not be good on turns one and two, but any point thereafter, I think it's pretty good. Also, we might just be able to encourage a legendary loot situation, which would be quite legendary and quite looty. <laughs> so we'll see if we can get that rolling. This is definitely a good starter. We could we could go uh, Bloodsail Cultist. I think, God, we could go Pirate Quest just just to reliably get the weapon. But I kind of don't want to. I kind of just want to stick to the the weapon plan. And I think I actually might want to go even more aggro-y than I currently am. Mortal Strikes damage. Oh, I got Warlock damage too. Soul Fire. Keep forgetting about Warlock over here. Ways to get extra damage to face. Hellfire. Demonic Assault's actually not bad. It's a pretty good swarmy card. Uh, Demon Seed. I I don't I don't want to commit to Demon Seed. I mean, it's, I I know it fits. Like it's actually pretty good if you're using your weapons. I, I want this to be like a hyper aggro. I want it to go really really fast, basically. And I just don't want to play quest because you know that's what everybody's doing. We've done it a hundred times. So I, I'm just sort of trying to avoid uh, avoid that side of it and play a little bit more for um, hyper aggression. I actually really like most of these pirates. Man, am I gonna end up making this just a pirate deck like? I didn't really want to, right? I didn't want it to be a pirate deck, but I'm gonna have so many pirates, it's gonna feel weird not making it a pirate deck here in a minute. I don't actually think I need cutting class early. So I'm trying to avoid the standard two quest lines, basically. Even though they both sort of fit, <laughs> or either sort of fits fairly well. I think it'd actually be cool if they added in a whole nother round of like the mercenaries, you know, like 10 fresh heroes, but kept the old ones. And we just had like a 21 hero pool. I think that'd be cool. It might be, well, I don't know if it'd be that crazy hard to balance because the card pool would mostly stay the same. It'd just be hero powers and stuff you'd have to tweak. I mean, it's probably hard, but anyway, this looks good. Hyper aggro weapon stuff. And I guess HS replay still not going to work. Uh, maybe it's Diablo specifically that makes this not work. Because I feel like it was working before, and now it's not working. I don't know, I spent the whole last video talking about this, so we're not going to do that again, but... <laughs> we'll make do. Holy moly, Hinter! $50 donation! Discard Warlock brought you back, huh? Uh, thanks for the kindness. This trade has to happen. $50 is absolutely bonkers. What a way to kick off the stream. Uh, Discard Warlock's enough to bring anybody back. <laughs> It's Discard Warlock's just the best. So I understand. Oh man, that sucks. And a burn's no fun. Uh I don't think we soul fire or trade, right? I mean this is such this is gonna be such a short game. I think this is enough damage to just win, right? It just seems absurd. I mean it's still gonna take some some lining it up properly to get there, but it, it's not like I need anything beyond what we have here. I can just demonic salt this turn. Use that to stabilize the board a bit, and then just start, you know, lining up all these pieces for later. What is this actually? This is 9, 13, 16. Yeah. Technically a little shy, but I, I think we'll be fine. These together would be cool if we can get that to work out. There's a little extra two. Taunts are good against Demon Hunter. It might be a little premature to use these, but I think it's okay. This is the line next turn. I may hold the attack if I think I can get a blood sail down. If I draw another weapon, it might be better to just go. I got rid of cutting class, so. I think they'll keep duels as a skull and base, only really adding the dual class heroes like Diablo. Maybe they do a free full refresh of skull heroes next year's if duels is popular enough and skull and rotates. Yeah, that's 
Sounds reasonable enough. I, I'll be honest, when Duels first came out, I really thought each expansion was going to be a fresh set of Duels stuff. I, I was clearly overestimating it because I really thought that's what we would get. Uh, this seems like I have to go next turn now, right? I mean, maybe I'm just better off upgrading now, though, and just smacking for 12 over two turns so that Mortal Strike just sets up a lethal, right? I have Mortal Strike Frog Sail next turn, so... I can Soulfire now, but I don't see the reason to. But surely between this set of stuff, we'll have a lethal set up here. I guess I could be dead, maybe, but it seems unlikely. Oh, we made it five minutes before Mrs. Kilvin came to interrupt. <laughs> High fives. Oh, okay. Damage outs are gone. Okay. Ouch. The heal nine is not what I expected. Well, shoot. Uh, I guess we're pivoting a little here then, huh? Might just be dead. Could easily be dead, right? God, actually, did I? Wait a minute. Just occurred to me. He'd be at 11 if I hadn't played this. That's 10. That's one off lethal. This bought me one damage, so he'd be at 11. I had 10 in hand. So I didn't actually check. That's kind of that's kind of bonkers. I did realize how close we were. I don't think there's any way to get it there because of that, but kind of insane. Yeah, this worked out. I mean, scary big big time heals there, but thankfully we got there. Man, I need to be more respectful of our damage potential. That was crazy. Okay, we were looking for pillage. Altogether now is not crazy. We have some, like blood sale. Oh, actually, no, these cost two. Uh, maybe this is crazy. Freebooter gets a little cheaper, and that's about it. Uh, floor is lava. I mean, I don't really think that's very good. Fire shaper. I mean, I have some spells. Yes, not a lot. I feel like Fire Shaper is the safest pick. I mean, I think altogether now is, is one we could maybe play more towards. Although you can play towards Fire Shaper as well, because we're going to get Warlock Buckets. I guess I'll take Fire Shaper. It has damage output more so than this, I think. None of those really fit, though. Uh, cool, I got zero spells offered after taking Fire Shaper. I'm so happy about that result. <laughs> what are these buckets, dude? <laughs> I guess I take the aggro one, but boy, oh boy, this is quite the start. <laughs> it's just, I just play the Hearthstone game. It's pretty easy. I do appreciate the kind words, though. I have to get 12 wins, huh? I'm going to get 12. Okay, I'll do it for you. Aggro can aggro sometimes, right? This into this is probably good. Can hit this on three. Cannoneer is nuts in this, isn't he? It's occurring to me how nuts he is. Costume entertainer is kind of weird. I could maybe put it on the Corsair and get those down cheap together. Shard twice? No way. He top decked the shard. He just traded. What a god. What a god. All right. So two high priority aggro threats down. Little bonus fire shaper damage is cool. We like that. Hero power makes a lot of sense here. Try to hit up for a ton if I can. Shadowward Void could come down already is what's crazy. Like, it'd just be good, I think. Palm reading instead. I didn't even see that. Divine Illumination. What does this do? Oh, yeah. Oh, my, dude. We are about to whack. Real hard. They're at eight. <laughs> I have uh, quite a bit of damage in hand already, honestly. Well, I really just wanted to equip weapons to unlock the Diablo hero powers. I built a fast weapon synergy, synergy deck. Just trying to smork my way through the next unlock. Uh, that said, I didn't draw a weapon. <laughs> so, yeah, looks like they're going to have to heal, which is good for us at the end of the day, just because it removes uh, a little bit of their burst damage reach. I mean, obviously, I'd rather have lethals, but it still might impact them some. Binding heal, too. Okay, big heals. Can they kill this, though? Because it's still... Oh. Not a kill, but not bad. Certainly not bad. Upgrade feels a little weird right now. Do we just go Demonic Assault? 
this gets worse. I think developing more is probably better. The one thing about this is it does have some reach, so maybe I just go for uh, two more minions here. Hit this, hit this, hit this. Mm. Need to draw my weapon and get all this stuff out. That's what I need. Alright, that's sort of slow. I thought this was the can't hero power thing at first, so that was going to be nice. Uh, four damage from hand. Four damage from hand. I right, plagues of pain. Healing too much. Kind of hate it. So what do I have? Five, six, I need 12. We definitely don't have 12. If I go Dread Corsair, he's big, but that just kind of plays into Void a little bit, right? I guess I'll put on a taunt and an upgrade. I really did not want to use the upgrade like this, but I think I just need to chip the damage through as much as I can, right? And if nothing else, it's advancing my quest, which was the whole point of playing this. Hey, the bonus damage face might be a big difference. So now Shadowward Void, you know, we're keeping everything kind of low health here and not that not that uh, susceptible to it. Without a AoE board clear, I mean, I have, what, six right here, seven next turn available? That's not bad from hand. Could, could always end up being more, too. The guy we're playing is named Rude. How rude to play Priest. All right, another heal. Oh, that's a big play. Wow, dude, I'm screwed. That is a big time play. Uh, Mortal Strike kind of sets me up for lethal next turn. Uh, if I go for Dread Corsair here, do I lose to Shadow Word Void? Probably, yeah. They have five plus six, that's 11. 12 off the Void itself, they would need three damage they almost certainly would have that in hand so i don't think i go that route in fact i think we probably just fire stomp hero power here to set up for for mortal strike next turn right just gain a little bit of healing this also removes health from the board um which might make a shadow word void much worse right like they don't may not have a void target Whereas if I play stuff, we, we give them void outs, potentially. I don't know how much healing they'd have left. They might have the zero mana heal, which also heals me. Uh, that said, that would take them to nine. I would have four and four. So I'd only have eight, but then this would be the setup. Uh, that also puts them at nine. Uh, oh, and this puts this at six, more importantly. So that is now nine. Okay. We have ten damage here. Unless they play Binding Thingy, we're fine. Yeah, man, more, I gotta say, Mortal Strike has been clutch, dude. I even got Fire Shapers to fully clear the board. I love it. All right. I love beating priests in their own game. That's great. That's great. Screw you, man. We're going face. <laughs> Uh, oh, I do like weapons. Uh, this isn't my favorite weapon. Do I actually just maybe like the card draw off this better to find burst damage? Yeah, I don't I don't really need this. It's kind of a slow weapon, honestly. Not that slow, but not bad. Again, really, really slow, but these all suck, so. I mean, whatever. The whole point of this was to farm the weapon, so. Spike feels not gonna be good until we have three mana, so I think we'll play Nazoths and toss the wheel. I can keep it costumed. It's, it's something to do on turn two. If nothing else, that seems fine. Uh, Baton is hitting just the pirate here, but I don't really want to play this pirate till Baton's exhausted. Could go ahead and coin the costumed into the Baton. Actually, you know what? We're just going to play both pirates here, I think, instead, because that just gets me a lot of tempo and aggression. Coin hits face as well. We just want to go really fast and hard, and then we can... Costumed on two into Freebooter on three. It will hopefully be a big Freebooter because it's very likely to get buffed. Yeah, this is a good start. Mm, does that need to die? I don't think so. Let's just ignore it for now. He might just button it anyway, and there's nothing that's that valuable to hit on board. Like, okay, kill the deckhand. I don't care. <laughs> uh, hey, AJ, thanks for the encouragement. I will continue dueling until it is no longer enjoyable to do so. Hopefully that is uh, long, long into the future. All right, uh, we can take Freebooter here. Looks good. I don't think, again, I don't I don't think we deal with a goody two shields. I think I just go face. Uh, oh my God, my game is freezing. Oh God. Okay, we're fine. 
Thankfully, we didn't lose out here. Uh, we need to test. Level sacks fine. We're gonna keep going face. Cool, we made it back. Woo! For the alliance and my <laughs> All right, uh, that's dead, but again, deny any value to hero power. This is a really good fire stomp, right? I think we take it. It's just super clean on these. I mean, I could just go face again and like really lead into that fire stomp. I think actually I like that better. Yeah, weirdly. I think I want the pirate in hand to be bigger. This going to three doesn't really change anything. I mean, the blood cell probably doesn't either, but for the sake of... This not mattering. I think I think this is better because now we can fire stomp next turn. Just baiting more into the board, right? I don't like need the heals or anything. Oh, if this is a big taunt, I might have problems. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Not a big taunt. That's fine. Actually, great for fire stomp again. Yeah. The weapon is still horrifying though. Still horrifying. <laughs> Yeah, we'll tempo the deck hand for sure. I kind of wish this one got buffed. That would have been nice. There are four. I do have a lot of over-the-top damage here, even if they get a taunt, if I can draw it, right? I mean, if they don't have a taunt, just hero power wins. So, that would be... That would be the same. Not a taunt. Cool. Okay. That is a taunt. Did make this bigger. Does that matter? No. Mm. I mean, we can kill this. I think we should, right? Just open up face attacks again in case that's the only taunt. This is actually maybe a little awkward to kill. Well, I can't kill it with his face. Can't kill it with the minion. So yeah. Uh, hopefully there's a like Tyrion coming though. I need to hit that. I need to hit that. Uh... Oh, am I dead? Oh, I'm just dead. Oh wow, that sucks. Man, brutal t t Sunkeeper Tarim. Brutal. Uh, Tremudius, thanks for the uh, uh, 420 and 69 bits, respectively. Oh my god. Legendary loot. Yes, it's the dream. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. We got weapon synergies. It's great. Man, I don't want any of these. Uh, I guess now that we have legendary loot, I could take a more like slow line. I mean, this is the more aggressive line, though. But if I want to like stretch the game out a little bit, well, I don't really want to stretch the game out. I want to go fast, even with loot. So yeah, let's keep it fast. Shield of Honor could be pretty darn bonkers. This looks good with loot, right? Don't really need these. Rally and together now, that's fast usually. Oh my God, we actually got Rune Spear. I don't think it's Alan that's right. I think it's Rune Spear. Alan, that's certainly not terrible, though. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe there's a minion buff. I don't know. There's a lot of possible... Uh... Well, yeah, I could have dealt four here. I think studies is better still, but... I want the minion on board. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, if I can hold a charge, right? That's pretty nuts. We like to see that, I think. We'll try to hold one charge for that to get an extra root spear hit. <laughs> Why not skull? Yeah, what was I thinking? Silly me. I mean, this gives it plus two attack, right? So that's fine. Do we play this guy or just two things? I think two things is a little bit better against their hero power, right? Because it might make the hero power a little bit harder to hit the target they want to isolate. Now, I guess this turns the real dilemma, right? Like, do I go ahead and use the root spear to set up for the Krasnov spiked wheel? I think so, yeah. We'll just use hero power um, this turn. And then spiked wheel Krasnov is definitely fine. I'll have armor from the hero power that'll probably still be around. And then uh, that'll be good. No, well, this is really not bad if um, he hits the 2 2 with face. He might be able to bounce this into the 1-3. Oh, uh, yeah. See, I don't know about that. I think they should have maybe hit the 2-2 two, two first. Then they had a 50-50 instead of a 33 for a good result. Because if the 2-2 two, two gets hit there, what do you do with your attack, you know? 
I think maybe we could have manipulated that slightly better. Still could have low rolled, of course. May not have mattered at the end of the day. Ooh, if I go Freebooter, well, it's kind of the same difference. I'd lose the two damage here. Well, I need the hero power, though, so that Spiked Wheel is active. I guess not really, though. I'd rather have the body on board. Yeah, never mind. We'll still just do this. Body on board obviously has value. Oh, athletic studies again. Oh my god, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and clear that, right? No, no, I want this to be cheap. Never mind, never mind. Scratch that. Uh, we can go ahead and equip here. That doesn't hurt us. Krasanov comes down next turn. He bumps this anyway, right? Even if we don't have armor yet. So I think it's it's fine. It's going to be a 1-3. Yeah, I'm regretting the body on board now. The upside of the body is being denied a little too easily there by the three mana anchor man. Good God. Rally. Garbage. Crossing off uh, can still hit the 2 2. Sadly, the clear there means I lost my armor again. This turn got a little more awkward now. We're like slightly off curve, you know? I think I still go face for one, right? Uh, next turn, if I button, I'll gain three and three, I'll be at seven attack. I'll have to find two damage. Uh, it's like, I don't think the game's gonna last three turns though. So I don't I don't think holding this a, another, like, you know, trying to get extra value out of it's not gonna matter. Cause I don't, I don't think the game's gonna last that long. I think we'll win before then, especially if I push enough damage, right? Hey, Grimgrod, how's it going? Uh, Unguro was the play for sure. <laughs> yeah, I do like Explore a Girl a lot. That's fair. Don't hit, don't hit Krasnop. I just need Mortal Strike. I need, no, no, Mortal Strike's too much mana. I need Shield of Honor. I don't think I need that. I guess we just play Bumper Car here, right? Just try to set up for the lethal. Make sure we're not dead. I mean, I don't think I'm dead, right? Five and six. Uh, there's no like Grom. You need to find 11 damage from hand to kill me. I mean, a taunt would be the problem, but I guess they're not playing a taunt, so. Seven's fine. We can deal seven, we know. I guess we just win. Is that really their best play? To leave me lethal? Maybe it's all they had. Yeah, I don't know. Cool. It's really good damage, dude. It's crazy damage output. Yeah, I don't know. That got a little shaky there in the mid game. I I, I don't know. I, I, the, the three drop, I think, was still the right play. The freebooter over hero power. Like, it was debatable, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I guess it's Blade. Uh, this is definitely the ultimate weapon deck. I've never seen, I don't think, a three weapon bucket before. This is wild, dude. I, a staff is not it, right? Like staff, I would almost say like, oh, let's shore up our value. But we, we can't because I need to be able to attack. And I don't think like three cards is worth it. So it's, it's Blade because Hyper Blaster, I don't need either. I'm trying to go face a lot. We're trying to be aggro. So Blade is definitely the most aggro deck. Or aggro card. Uh, this is that same bucket as before. I don't really love it though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the card draw here. Soul Rend is kind of stranded. The five drop's not that great, but I love backfire. I think it's great for the stack. Help us find, uh, help us find damage because we, we've definitely we're gonna have to stretch games a little further as the run goes on as health totals climb. Right? We can't just get there uh, on the same meager threats that we have thus far. We need to continually find ways to take it another turn or two deeper i mean i don't think this deck's gonna go beyond like five wins this feels like a five win deck to me but but we can try at least <laughs> pamela lansbury uh do you edit your own youtube videos yeah 99 percent of them yeah today's indeed i did edit myself i, I turned myself into diablo in today's videos so. i'm glad you enjoyed it goggles uh oh goggles is fast so upgrade on one is just insane for us with legendary loot. Um, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, it's got to be this. It, it's not great, though. I, I sort of take it back. Uh, I still want to upgrade it so that I don't uh, fatigue myself out. Like, I can attack my way out of it. I, I, I'm going to have cards. That's the good news, right? <laughs> I can always, I guess, override it, too. But I think the upgrade's fine. Just get some, some stuff moving. Is this the same guy as before? We, we played that Invigorating Sermon guy earlier. Uh... Yeah, it is. Same guy, yeah. Okay. It's good to know. That is a monster dude to deal with already. Oh my god. Oh jeez, dude. That is bad. That's really bad. Uh, could maybe blacksmith the camera at next turn. I guess I could always soul rend it later, but it's gonna have divine shield probably here. Uh, oh, maybe not. Okay, he's just gonna go face? Really? Are we about to do a race right now? Because I love that. Uh, I can't go for a Shield of Honor, sadly. Maybe I just play two minions here then. Hopefully this hits one of these two. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. All right, let's do this, man. I think I can win this race, so. I have a lot of resources. Oh, that's kind of good. A little more, a little more oomph to this one here. Yeah, I don't know. I might trade the blacksmithing hammer now that I have the spiked wheel, right? I don't I don't need to keep the uh Alaneth up this turn. I can I can ditch it this turn. Oh, that's a good card. So we can go spiked wheel, hero power if we want. Uh could get a spawn down since we know this guy's pretty big. Uh and still equip the new weapon, right? I wonder if I need to go even wider on board though. Part of me's thinking about how wide on board I want to go. Maybe we don't go spiked here. Maybe we just keep this weapon for one turn, right? I want to get some minion health in because of this, the shield of honor. Is there any reason to preemptively play this? No, it's zero mana. I might want to use a discount on something else, so. Let's see. So this trade happens here. This trade happens here. We hit for what? Another. Oh. Oh, crap. That's bad. Okay. That's not good news. Solrend should be fine, though. Oh, yeah, they're gonna go face a little bit. Solrend is amazing, now. Solrend is fantastic now. We'll use Solrend to clear. We can reload with an initiate. It also gets a little damage through with Fire Shaper. And I think I might go ahead and accelerate this damage as well, now that I have armor, right? Because it might make all the difference by break points here. So we have plenty of weapon durability throughout the course of this game. I just want to... And Fire Stomp might have been better, actually, in hindsight, now that I think about it. I don't know. I got more damage through this way, but... Terum. Okay. Terum is a little awkward. This hammer hero power does deal with the Terum. It's eight. No, it's seven mana. It's, it does not deal with the Tam. Uh, any spell on this guy is also pretty nuts. So, Fire Stomp, Trade, Hero Power, Face. Uh, it's a real shame I don't have any way to damage my own minions. This this uh, freaking Shield of Honor is never going off. I guess I could go Fog Sail on this and then Shield of Honor. What does this go to? Oh, it goes to eight. Oh, maybe that's the play. And then I have two crazy big threats on board. Is this too sneaky? I don't think it is. Then we got the snipe face. I don't think it's too sneaky, man. I think it's pretty good. Paladin can have trouble with this sort of thing sometimes. Because they don't have pings, you know? There's like consecrations, whatever, some some random garbage but sometimes that just sticks wave is a denial but decided to not go for the small taunt that might mean they go for a bigger taunt next turn but they are unfortunately for them just dead cool okay this is a fun win I'm glad we got revenge, by the way. They killed us earlier. That's our only loss so far, so. 
Uh, do we take the Surly Mob to keep up with our opponent's stuff or Creepy Curio to get more threats? I think I like Surly Mob a little better. I might need to clear taunts and stuff. Seems like it could be very good. This is too discardy. This is too random. This is... Uh, this is tradable at least. I'll take this. It's fine. Uh, do we like P... Oh, we like Dread Corsair early because we're going to have a legendary weapon usually. I think Fire Stomp's so good, I probably keep it as well. And I think we can do better than Peon. But Dread Corsair is often amazing. A little legendary loot. You know, Fire Shaper, guys, it hasn't been amazing, but it's added up, you know? It's added up a little, I think. Uh, do we like Rinlings better or Rock Delar better? Rinlings is more value, but Rock Delar lets me get a Dread Corsair down immediately and just push more damage. I guess I have a bit of a feeling that Priest won't really interact with the Rinlings rifle that well because a lot of secrets for Hunter are, um, and it will be Hunters, we're not a class that has secrets. A lot of Hunter secrets are minion interaction based. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go for the max tempo here, guys. <gasps> oh my God. Blood and blood. It is absolutely the max tempo, 15 damage here. Okay, this is gonna be uh, it's gonna be a race. We'll see. Rinlings is kind of like Book of Secrets. Wait, what is Book of Se Book of Secrets? What is Book of Secrets? Oh, oh, that oh the other passive. Yeah, I do like that's true. I do like that. It is good, but uh, not as good against priests since we have the knowledge that we're facing priests. Again, I think it's all that uh, lack of minions that uh, really influences that decision. Bomb Wrangler is pretty good against Fire Shaper uh, if it can stick into a Fire Shaper, right? I think we definitely attack, by the way, just to uh, make room for the next set of weapons. Spiked Wheel seems unlikely to ever get played for them, so that's actually pretty good news, I think. Let's go ahead and Bomb Wrangler now, make their life a little more awkward, maybe. We attack in case we get Burning Blade. Yeah, I mean, they're 22. It's still a ways to go, but... Rustwick's one of the better cards I could get, I guess. I think like a backfire would be number one or burning blade thing. Oh, that's a good answer to the bomb wrangler, isn't it? Man. <laughs> okay. We should just go. <laughs> this on five, these two on six. Uh, that's, that's, what is that? That's six more damage. That's 13. This is nine. I need to find nine damage somewhere. Oh, they're doing something. They're weapon priests. Uh, I think we like Rustwick's better than just hero power, don't we? It's, it's debatable, but I think the game will go just long enough that he matters. He might get to attack for five, and then he's just always better than primal power. As far as I'm increasing the quality of my deck, it's only marginally right. Like three three primes out of 25 cards or whatever. It's not, not really that meaningful, but it might make a difference if this game goes three or four turns extra. Lion's Guard is probably relevant against Priest because they do hit my face a lot. Oh, that's slow. Does this live to hit for five? No way. This lives to hit for five? No way. Oh, lives to hit for one. <laughs> uh, it would be nice if it absorbed some, some Fire Shaper pings. That's good, yeah. So it got a little heal. Gets hit for a little damage. Uh, do we go Fire Stomp now? No, I think we go Blacksmithing now. So this hits for eight, nine, that puts them at 10. I have seven damage here. We're still a little short. I could trade this in instead and like try to find a better play. Worst case, I could dump a lion's guard. It's really not that bad. Yeah, let's do that. Let's trade. Blood Sail Raider is not the better play. Although it might mean that I can get away with hero power here just to push more damage, yeah. Not that it gets buffed or anything, it just fills the curve a little better while allowing me to squeeze some damage through. Uh, I'm gonna hold the fire stop for a bigger heal later or maybe an over the top damage finisher. I wanna get attacks through before there's taunts and stuff, so. Although it would contest this 4 3 nicely, I think it's okay if the 4 3 clears attacks or whatever, it's fine. Just save for the bigger swing later. <laughs> Speaking of Lion's Guard, I watched the Netflix show Animal last night, or a couple episodes. I love nature documentaries. It was so good. So this is already a better fire stomp. Well, I guess actually, no, it's about the same. Oh, now it's better. Yeah, we might take it now. It's pretty good now. I think two and healing a fair bit's nice. 
get a rover down on top of all this. It's great. Hit face for three again, like fire shaper damage bonus. Like, yeah, this is theoretically lethal next turn on an empty board, right? Because this is five with fire shaper and this is three. So if they don't play a minion here, we might just have it. Oh, this could be that big heal. That big heal taunt would be a nightmare. Oh, God. Seems like they didn't get it. There's a lot of death battles in the pool and duels, right? It's a big, big pool. The ancient documentaries are a zen joy. Yeah, they're great. I love them, too. I agree. My wife likes watching all these, like, zoo shows, too. Uh, those don't matter. This kind of matters, but not really. I don't technically have... Oh, if this lives, I have lethal. Oh, yeah, I don't have it, though. Shoot, he trades. Uh... I have to oh that oh that's not lethal either. I don't have a weapon equipped. Dang it, dude. I'm 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 like one off. If this if this connects, I have lethal. Uh I guess I'll just go face and play the Lion's Guard and uh there is no escape. I don't I don't take the one in five, right? I don't think it's worth it to take a one in five. Let's just tempo and Hope to get them next turn. Like they, they may think they're safe, or you know, may just have more favorable breakpoints. Might draw a weapon for the deck hand, etc. So let's try. They just trade in a little bit. My odds improve naturally. Uh, oh wow, that's a good clear. So any weapon here is lethal. Oh, never mind. No, it's not. Well, it might still be. Actually, it probably is. I think. I think any weapon is still lethal. Maybe not a one mana weapon or one attack weapon. That'd be three six ten. Oh no, that'd still be lethal. Uh oh, this is okay. Oh wait, no. Oh yeah, that's it. Perfect. Woo! Exacts, man. We are just scraping by, which is exactly why I said this deck will get five wins and not one more. <laughs> I mean, I don't think our legendary weapons have been great for the record. They've just sort of been stat sticks. Um, that last one anyway. Eh, it's okay. This is okay. Oh, this is actually really good. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay. A good group learning bucket. What is this? What's happening? Somebody. I think this is too greedy, right? Uh. Might hold this because it could bump my legendary loot weapon rather nicely if I can hit a, a pirate to go with it, which is pretty likely. Oh, this seems like a good hand. I can coin a raider on one with the legendary loot. If I need to react to their board, I could do the fog sail instead. Uh, I guess I could also try to hold coin, make blood sail cultist more viable, but I don't know. I think it'll be okay. We'll just play two, two, three. Surely one of them will stick, right? Uh, it's Diablo with backpacks and. Double battle cries. Okay, so backpacks is kind of scary. Uh, it's gotta be Valineer, right? Uh, I mean, Root Spear is cool, but I think Valineer is just more reliably good. Hmm. I mean, Raider, it's probably gonna die, but let's give it a shot just in case, right? They may not have a minion early that's big enough. It's, it's, there's only four cards, right? So it's actually a pretty hard check to have exactly a three attack, two drop. See, that's not big enough. Yeah, wow. Very nice. Uh, actually, we want to do this. Make sure we get this order right. I want this to hit, I guess, the initiate and not the librarian. I mean, Blood Cell Cultist would be okay too, I guess. Initiate's good just because it's so cheap, right? All right, that's a pretty good start. Uh, I got my username to answer your question legitimately not being a troll. Uh, when I played World of Warcraft back in the day, actually, I want to trade this guy. Let's see what we find. These are due back tomorrow. Mm. Go ahead and upgrade. We're going to Demonic Assault next turn. I mean, I could upgrade the Valineer off this, but yeah, I guess actually we'll hold. Never mind. Uh, back when I played World of Warcraft, I had uh, a series of characters. It was like the second time I played WoW, like when I came back or something, I forget. I think for the end of uh, um, Burning Crusade. Uh, I had a series of characters. Regis Kilbin was my warrior. Regis Healbin was my priest. Regis uh, Steelbin was my rogue. 
and so on. So I just had various uh, Regis pun names based on the celebrity Regis Philbin that all rhymed. And for whatever re reason, Regis Philbin was the most widely suitable, I guess. So that's the one that stuck as the primary. We are just murdering, by the way, guys. I mean, just absolutely murdering. He's <laughs> at seven. This is crazy. It's absolutely nuts. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, I uh, I think at the time I actually made the rogue first, but then made all the, you know, made all the variations. Uh, when I came back for Legion in World of Warcraft, I did start as a warrior and then shifted to Paladin. So close. Oh, shoot. That's gross. Kind of annoying, isn't it? Do we have to go here to clear that? Like, I don't want to gain a lot of life, right? It's really awkward, but... I need to set up the win here, which this did. Again, he's back to eight, even right after that just crazy heal he just did. That is wild, man. Look at this. We're, we're back to crazy damage output. How does this deck keep finding such absurd damage? Astro Shake ain't good enough right now. <laughs> Uh, we have nine we know about, so that's a taunt minion, but that's too late. Yeah, man. This deck is like, just barely, it's like, you know, down to the last card, but we're getting there still. Six wins. Jeez. Pure cold's amazing for us. Yeah, I love the damage. Freeze is great. I kind of like the backfire again to get more cards, right? Yeah, I think this is it. Backfires could be really nice reload, so. This is actually nuts with loot, right? Uh, initiate on one into upgrade. I mean, I'm a little less like, I don't know the initiates like amazing cause it could die. I don't know. Loot, uh, what they have together now and loot. Oh, wow. Going for twig. Sure would be a shame if the game ended before they got a chance to use that, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's my goal in the game before that sucker pops. Uh, Woe Cleaver is the like not great for us. We don't have that many good minions, but it's better than Twig or Sphere. Twig, we won't have the payoff anyway, so I definitely don't think it's that. Ooh, is this better? No, this is still better. Makes this better next turn, right? All right, four free minions. It's a pretty good one, actually. It's, that's one of our better results. We have some bad minions. I think, what's our best minion? Like, uh, uh, Rustwick's probably our best result. So we'll go Raider here. Face, face, face. Oh my God, are they taking three off this? Oh my God. The taunt was actually insane, I guess, in hindsight, because uh, maybe this is a little better. Let's see what we get though first. Just killing this to protect the taunt could be really nice, yeah. This is fine. It's enough board anyway, so. Okay. Like, if they want to pop their weapon, they have to hit this taunt, which is just delightful because they take so much extra damage, right? Uh, now they can clear it, though. Now they can go face. Pretty good heal here, actually. Um, thankfully, that still dies, though, which is nice. Is there a 25? What am I looking at here? I got six and nine. Not quite there yet, but I think we just, yeah, okay, I was gonna say, I think we just keep whacking, right? <laughs> it's just, it's so much damage, and more free minions, like, good god, dude. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. I think we got really lucky, for the record, too, on that woke cleaver, because I think we had some terrible minions, you know. Could've easily got Nazoth's first mate. I guess this is, like, costume entertainer. Only thing good is, like, Lion's Guard, Rustwick's, and the two pirates we got. Uh, this can go face, but those aren't great. Don't really need these. Alex is too slow. I actually like this a lot. It's just aggro minions, more backfires for card draw for damage, and flush giants. I mean, our hero power means we can get a flush giant sometimes fairly affordably. Okay, it's high quality hand, but maybe a little slow, right? I think it's a little too slow. We like cannoneer a lot. It's good, but let's let's go for a speedier hand here. <laughs> some clown some some fool some court jester of a man 
I mean, Wolf Cleaver went pretty well last time. I, I guess we take it again, right? I think it's definitely more reliable than Rune Spear, right? It feels like it to me. Uh, let's go ahead and mine Apocalypse as well. Oh, maybe we should do this first. Oh, that was like our best minion. No. No. Well, I don't, does this actually matter at all? Order-wise, uh, I, I, I'm... I have more bad minions than good minions, right? So I should technically play this first because I'm more likely to draw a bad minion than a good minion, right? Is that is that remotely logical? I don't know. Uh, sadly, I didn't hit any playable card. That's really tough. I mean this, but I don't want to use it. Does that logic add up at all? <laughs> Like, is that mathematically sound? That makes sense, even if it's like three mental cartwheels. I, there's a part of me that thinks that's logical, but I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, actually. Oh, crap. That's really gross. Oh, man. What a combo, by the way. Just trade in all your divine shields and make them enormous. I mean, putting minions in here feels kind of weird, but I guess we'll have two anyway, so... I almost did this backwards, guys. I know you saw that. Ugh. Oh, whoa, Cleaver, bro. I guess I could have tried to snipe it, though, actually, for the record, and push that damage face. I forgot about... Uh, maybe I didn't do it backwards. Because if I don't really care about the healing, maybe playing for the Fire Shaper pink was actually better, right? Because I don't really care about the healing, I don't think. Maybe that was actually wrong. I did it right from a healing standpoint, like, technically right from a healing standpoint, but... And I did activate Flush Giant value, too, so maybe it was right, but... Kind of debatable, really. Kind of debatable. Uh, I guess we pop this thing to try to snipe here. Hopefully it gets hit, right? Oh, but it's... Alright, don't hit Blade. Don't hit Blade. Okay, that's actually great. Alright, we're, we're in good shape despite how awkward this start was. Like... You know, we're not out of the woods by any means, because this button is just so nightmarish now with Wicker Flame in there. This could be a lot worse, given the kind of low rolls we hit there. This was a good minion again, getting some buffs through. It's really nice. Oh, Wicker Flame again. So he becomes a three... I think, uh... I should do it like this, right? Is this going to be a redemption, by the way? It's totally going to be a redemption, right? Or no not. Okay. Reckoning's totally fine. We actually attacked right. Thank God. Redemption was going to be <laughs> pretty annoying, I gotta say. <laughs> that would have been pretty bad. Slinging Soulfire gave you a heart attack, did it? Oh, hey, no save with 177 bits. Got the triple rag bucket with your paladin. Oh my god, flashbacks, dude. Don't don't tell me that. Scary. Scary, spooky stuff there. Oh, that's strong, dude. That is strong, sir. Ooh, we like backfire a lot, but is it time for it? Uh, I can hit here, hit again. This thing goes off twice. If, if it hits this twice, that's great. If it hits it once, it's still actually pretty good. Could also use Demonic Assault to fill in, or maybe just use uh, Backfire and find a play, right? We like this order because I don't mind. I, I like taking the damage more than my minions, right? It hits once. Do I just re equip weapon here or play for Backfire? I mean, I'm pretty likely to get something good off Backfire that's playable, right? The minions are all buffed to a bunch, so. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Unfortunately, one of these dies, probably, but having two is kind of cool. Pure Cold's great results as well. Blade, hero power is a lot of damage. Hopefully, now that there's other minions in the pool, he stops hitting Wicker Flame so reliably off hero power. Cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, that is gross. I can shield here, though. It's actually really good, isn't it? Goes to six. This is gonna go to seven though. Um, but I can hero power spiked wheel. Or actually, I can go demonic assault. 
hero power. Math is still kind of awkward though, isn't it? It's gonna go to seven. But these pings go off a lot. Four mana, I guess I hit here then. Math sucks though. Flesh Giant's uh, not gonna go off either. Man, I need this to be active. What's the best way to do this? This is the best way to do it. I'm fairly certain. How many pings go off here? Oh my god, really? Whatever. Whatever, it's fine. That All those hitting the minions sucked. I don't think there's a way to do the ordering differently, right? Because I had to hit the shield first, and then as soon as I hit the shield, the pings go off. So I think I was just destined to bad luck there. I needed basically n n one ping to hit Wicker Flame, and that's it. But still a good turn. This was a good turn, all things considered. I think we have to be happy with this. We also have some over-the-top damage, too, which is nice, so... I envy your ability to make decisions in a panic. I short-circuited trying to figure out the optimal play there. Oh, trust me. I've had plenty of short circuits in my life. <laughs> I cannot claim to uh, to be a master here. The, the big problem with having to face tank all these is that we are um, rapidly declining our own health, right? Declining? Is that the right word? Ooh, that having taunt sucks. Taunt and rush. Ugh. Just everything has lifesteal, taunt, and rush right now. Um. Okay, hopefully this didn't get hit a lot. Oh, no, no, this is right. It got hit once, but that's fine. We can certainly live with that. Okay. So this is actually a pretty good turn. I'm at 15, which is horrifying, but... Because <laughs> basically they haven't attacked me at all. I've spent the entire game attacking them and they're at 11 and they haven't attacked me once and I'm at 15. But it's all just defensively taken damage just from whacking stuff. So I think that was a pretty good turn, by the way, right? I, I don't know if that was the exactly optimal way to do that, but it felt pretty clean, actually. Shockingly clean to me. It says rush. I mean, I guess you take it to heal one, right? But I think they're in trouble here. Surely between pure cold and everything else, I'll have an easy lethal here, right? Oh, um, well, that was not what I expected, but cool. Um, oh, that is going to heal extra now, though. Actually, still enough. Doesn't matter. The heal eight, that's 21. I have seven, eight, and eight. Yeah, it's fine. Weirdly, it was still just plenty. Cool. Another win, dude. This stack, man. It's Lesser Loot is strong, which we knew, but it's, yeah, it's the first time I've played the, the buff version. It's good. Turns out it's pretty good, guys. Uh, Henchman's free. We'll take Henchman. We like free stuff. Spyglass, we don't really need that much. Vendor's card draw, which is cool, but that's really expensive. I think I take the tradable here because we need flexibility to find damage and stuff. Ah, you're so strong! How can you be so strong for being so tiny? Alright, see you, boo. Not even death can save Wish me luck. Me. Uh, do we like deckhand early? It just kind of dies. I don't know. It may not be that good. I think we can get better. Dies to hero power, right? I want, I want like, upgrade. I want, like, uh, bigger things. Better things. Well, these are bigger. Better? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Not exactly the high... Tempo start we were looking for. Oh, wow. Hagatha's in Mage. That is wild. Uh, big hand, though, actually, because of this guy, right? It helps. Ooh, Woke Cleaver's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take Woke Cleaver. Woke Cleaver's pretty good. I mean, this guy sucks, but he's better than zero cards on board. Eight wins on a five win deck. I honestly maintain that. I, you know, I don't think this deck is very good. It's just, it's, it'll get, it'll con continue to get worse as people get more and more stabilization tools, more healing, more control tools. <laughs> you gotta respect the amount of dexterity he has to reach around the camera and make it look like he's holding someone else's hands. It's true. I am, I am indeed the master of reach arounds. Yeah.
Ignore that. I didn't say that. Scratch that. <laughs> that's not what I said. <laughs> it's not what you didn't. That's not what you heard. Uh, do we just go face? Actually, no. I don't know. I think I can. I think I can hit this. Honestly, protect my board a little more. Okay. <laughs> that was just like too easy. That was just sitting there. You teed it up. Even though it, it even though it, uh, it's on me, it still was just too easy. Too easy. That's fair, yeah. Hopefully that's true. Hopefully we just keep getting good stuff early. Ping Flame Imp. Is that the best you got? Just playing a 2-1? Wow! That's the best they got! Can I just hero power here? I mean, do we like Blood Sail better? You just trade in the 2-2. Two -two. Like, do I really care? Let's just play a raider and trade, right? I mean, I definitely have to deal with this thing. There's no question about that. Uh, let's see what we find first. It might change our life a little bit. I don't think we have any rush minions or anything, but... Indeed, it does change our life, because now we can keep the better minion on board, yeah. Perfect. We should actually trade one of these two, huh? Because I have the other one if I need a silence, so let's just trade. You never know. It might make a difference. Okay, so a lot of damage in hand, thankfully, off these two. That's eight damage. This is seven. Not all at once, of course, but big old board on turn three. Uh, Bone of Cold is nice, though. Wow. So this is seven, 11, or no, 10. Oh, noble hero power this turn, though. It might just go like Heroic Strike Henchman. I don't know if I want to go too crazy hard on board, though, just because... I'm already going to get another minion off this. Yeah, let's just hero power this turn, actually. Basically, in case they have, like, Freezes or Frost Novas or Varden or whatever, I don't want to... I don't want to, like, fully overcommit to the board. Uh, let's put this in just because it's free, I think. You know, free from a mana standpoint. I don't know if it'll have a lot of upside later on because they're probably just going to hero power to some point. So they're at 13. Um, I have a lot of damage. Prentice is good here, but it doesn't it doesn't clear everything. Well, surely I just have a lethal. I mean, I feel like I'm going to have, what, seven in hand, plus looks like, uh, what, seven on board or something? Why do these go in such a weird order? Is it play order? Oh, hot streak might screw me. Is this clear? Oh, no, they're just dumping it for hand size. Okay. Cool. Man, they, I think they were really close to turning the corner there, so, so I think it's great news that we had it. Um, nine wins! What is happening in this deck? No. Nah. Legendary Loot Woe Cleaver is really good, and this deck's not even built for it. Uh, we can do better. I do like Colt Neophyte a lot, and I actually like Demonic Assault a lot against Demon Hunter as well because of the taunts. Both of these are pretty disruptive to Demon Hunter's game plan, so I think we'll keep both. Uh, Coin Peon is probably okay as well. Especially since they have uh, Fire Shaper and Party Replacement. Might be awkward for them to deal with them. Uh, that's a really good opener, Party Replacement, though. Oh, God, that's all just really good. Uh, Valineer, I think, is the route here. I mean, technically, Rindlings is pretty exciting, but I think I, think I still like Valineer better. And I, I think, indeed, we will, uh... Mm, I should have attacked that first, actually, I think. There is no escape. I think I gotta hit the minions a little bit. At least early. We'll, we'll, we'll eventually turn the corner, of course, but... Th these part of your placements are gonna overwhelm me if I don't keep them at least a little in check until I stabilize more of a board, right? I think the way we win this one against Team Hunter is usually, like, stabilize a little bit of a board and, uh then try to turn the corner kind of more all at once. I'll try. Work, work. Although this turn seems like it's going to suck, doesn't it? All right, hit, hit Colt Neophyte. Hit Colt Neophyte! Oh, that's really slow. That was the bad roll. Either of the two drops I think I would have happily played, but this sucks. It's going to take forever for this to die now. It's just gonna take forever to kill that. 
Ugh. Okay. Hero power here is pretty bad. I guess I can go spiked wheel setup into henchman. That leaves me hero power next turn on the wheel, but I might want to play blade next turn. So I don't know. Maybe we'll go call into henchman instead. Henchman's really bad right now, though. Oh, man. I'm not happy, guys. We're, we're very behind here. We need to be ahead, not behind. I don't think we'll be able to pull this back quick enough. Blade's just gonna, I'm gonna take too much damage trying to keep up with, hitting the Rustwicks there I think was maybe game losing. If we hit the Neophyte right, we get a good chain rolling. I mean, even if I hit this, I would have played it. It would have been a buff taunt. I would have kept the chain rolling. Like there were a lot of benefits to hitting, uh, hitting this. I can at least demonic assault this guy. That's not bad. It does kind of leave this to take good trades, but I think this needs to die. But I mean, look, I'm at 24, right? Party replacement's just so strong. My val my upside Legend Loot just got got trapped in this Rustwix. Maybe we should have taken uh, Rindlings. This, the way this game is is speeding out, you know? Maybe it was better to go for the Rindlings. It's help stabilize in hindsight. I didn't feel confident saying that, but you know, looking at it now, I'm wondering. And now it's, it's almost like Valineer's just going to be too slow, right? Like, this is just going to get interrupted by a taunt. The 9-6 isn't really big enough to threaten, like, any kind of instant wins or anything. I don't have... I guess a Fire Stomp, actually, would still pull me into this game. Yeah, Fire Stomp is a way to win, honestly. Because I could get a ton of healing and remove an entire board. That's that's maybe my out, is Fire Stomp. Fire Stomp, like, heals me to full or something now, and... Oh my god, if I had Fire Stomp here. I could actually play 4 out off Backfire as well. It's not a bad idea. Backfire, fire stomp, or just hit it naturally, right? Fire stomp! Lion's guard! Oh my god, I can hit and then lion's guard. Okay. Might not be bad, actually. Am I willing to risk this flame imp? Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think I need to, actually. It's really terrifying, but I I need the I need the board because now I can maybe kind of press for a counter lethal soon. But I just have to be able to keep tutus in check for a while. I still need fire stomp, honestly. I think that's still the win. Oh, that's a big trade taker. That's scary. Oh, skull outcasted too. Oh god, I needed to be out of cards. I think that might be it. Fire stomp is definitely my out though. That's all I got left. At least they're not getting a lot of face damage through here. That's good news. Oh my god, they keep taking damage. Can I ever just like hit them now for a win? I have seven, ten. Oh no, I have seven. I would need to find ten damage. I definitely don't have ten damage handy. I have to play backfire, right? Seven here. This is at least pretty much always eight plus. So I can't, I can't just play for counter aggression. I have to try to find something off this, but. It deals damage to me, so it sucks. And it, you know, I got a I got a worse stomp now, but it's I think it's my only choice. Stomp again, I, I guess, is my out. I think we're screwed though. Freebooter is definitely not it. I don't think there's anything here. Soulfire. Uh, if I had one more cheap spell, I could try to snipe this, but I don't currently. These are due back tomorrow. It's just all tradable cards, are you serious? I'm technically alive if they somehow can't play any card in hand. That's the, that's the check. Every Well, their outside cards have to both be 10 drops or something, you know, or, or 8 drops, I guess, technically, for me to be alive. That is indeed not an 8 drop, so. Man. Close. I <laughs> two h -offs specifically. Yeah, that was tough, man. They got off to a good start. The the party replacement's just always so hard. I still think it's like the best card in the game. Oh, and Rage is nuts, right? We like damage, yeah. Nah, we'll pass. Do we like Blade? I think I need earlier tempo, right? Backfire's good reload, but I want to go hard against Paladin in particular, yeah. Let's pass on Blade. We've, we've got Legendary Loot, so...
Let's look for one drops and stuff to really, really pressure. There we go. That's a one drop. That's a three drop. Okay. That's fine. Hey, Seth with 17 months. Oh my God. Uh, discs is always horrifying, I gotta say. Uh, Twig's not good for us. It's gotta be Rocktolar, but it also kinda sucks, honestly. I'm gonna hold the attack because I think I need these pirates to connect and make this thing upgraded to make it worth it. And I might need to hit a minion next turn, right? And then I need to hold this into three, so... Yeah, that kinda sucks for them, usually, at least. That's, I mean, I don't know what they're going to get out of that. That's pretty bad, usually. So I can theoretically attack this turn. Um, I lose one damage. I think that's worth losing in case I want to push through these durability faster because I get a new weapon to refresh later, right? Yeah, I think that's worth Because it. it's not just a total damage check. It's, you know, I also need to make sure I have the ability to play the next one, you know. That sort of deal. Anointatrons are the worst. <laughs> I am going to try to save this librarian for a key silence later, but the Anointatrons in the meantime are the worst. <laughs> Just the worst. Oh, these aren't bad. I like that. Just let me ignore those. Yeah. Okay, backfire school. We'll just go face hard here and... Uh... Try to find a win soon, right? Need another weapon now. Which backfire is good at finding. Hint's been buffed up pretty well. This just trades once, maybe. It's fine. These are always annoying, but I might be able to silence her a lethal here if I get the right... What do I have left? Uh, eight? No, not quite, I guess. Man, Merchant's actually, like, a good card. I wonder if I just like Hero Power Hinchman better, though, to push more damage. Yeah, probably so. 100%. Not even close. Let's see. If we hit for six, they go to seven. Is that a better breakpoint for me? Do I value the extra minion on board more? They go to eight. What are my breakpoints? I think since I have a silence, I just push max. Basically, I, I just I can get through a taunt pretty easily. So. Okay. That's what they got. They So they know I have that, by the way. So that's actually important. They know they cannot rely on that. That's, uh... That's... I'm sad that they know, but... It's still... Unavoidable to them at, at some level, I guess. Alright. Let's, uh... Look for a better play here. We're maybe gonna come up just short, right? If we're not careful. Upgrade hero power is lethal next turn, though. Uh, but I wouldn't be able to royal librarian, so I'd have to have an empty board here. No taunt, no taunt, no taunt. No taunt. No taunt, no heal. No taunt, no heal. No taunt, no heal. That's a heal and a taunt. That's especially bad, especially bad news. <laughs> okay. Uh, man. Everything's too expensive now. So if I silence here, I hit them to seven. I really don't have good outs from seven. But I kind of need to spend the mana to silence now, I think, right? Because if I don't silence now, I won't have a window next turn to attack. They go to seven. They've got 12 damage on board. So I would really just have next turn to get through for the win. Could theoretically play a taunt next turn or something to try to stabilize. But seven's a decent breakpoint for me. I have like mortal strikes, burning blades. It's a few different things. Alright, we'll just try. It's tough. I mean, I you know, it seems like we're very susceptible here, but uh, it's what we got. Another taunt is probably game ending here. Another heal, also probably game ending. If he gets an Oyotron off this hero power, I am screwed. Is it guaranteed actually? Wait, was it guaranteed? Oh, man. That's not good. Although, it is maybe going to give me a whole other turn, actually. Demonic Assault. That, like, definitely gives me another turn, right? Demonic Assault face. The taunts block a little. 
I can I can hero power the Annoyotron, but it's like, what good does that do me? Not really any. If I go face the Demonic Assault, I have some outs on like uh, Mortal Strike and Soul Fire. I don't think hero power here like really, really advantages me much, right? So I think I should trade. A fine purchase. And also, it doesn't really advantage me much here. All right, I technically have a couple outs, um, but boy, is it going to be unlikely. And I'm probably dead next turn if I don't get the lethal out, so. Oh, am I dead now? Six plus seven? No, I don't think I'm dead, right? So I need soul fire or mortal strike. Soul fire or mortal strike. Shield of idiots is not it. Um, I guess if this hits the taunt, I have lethal, right? Five is yeah. If this hits the taunt, it's a one and six. <laughs> All right. I mean, let's see. Oh, can I stay alive here now? No, still not. Uh, can I cast enough spells? No. I died a hero power? Oh, I would have. You're right. Oh, yeah, I don't have it. Yeah, you're well right. Yeah. I can't survive hero power. Good point. Uh, yeah, it had to be It had to be soul fire or uh, mortal strike. Yeah, that was close, man. This was a great deck, though. I loved it, dude. This was cool. Wasn't even supposed to be good. It just... It worked out that way. We'll try again. I don't know what our rewards were. I don't know if we'll get to see them, will we? Sometimes you do. Welcome to my end. Okay. Nice a box of smoke. What a reward. A beautiful box of smoke. Uh okay, let's see if we can see those rewards. Will they pop up? No. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Man, I like, uh... It was, like, really wanting to play standard today, but I don't know, man. I just want to play with rules. Is that wrong? 